Hello guys, this is Divya and I'm back with another episode of Plums Prelims Level Up MCQ series. Today we'll be dealing with environment questions. Let's get started guys. The first question, which of the following statements best describes the impact of biodegradable substances on the environment? So first, option A, they decom decompose rapidly in uh, reducing pollution and uh, en enriching um, soil fertility. Option B, they persist in the environment for long periods causing soil and water contamination. Option C, they release toxic chemicals during decomposition posing health uh, risks to organisms. D, they contribute to the depletion of ozone layer leading to climate change. Now let us see the answer for this question guys. Hope you guys got it right, right? So option is A, so biodegradable substances decompose rapidly and reach the soil fertility and reduce pollution. So biodegradable substance we should be more focusing on, we should use these on the daily basis. But uh, the opposite that is non-biodegradable substances like uh, you know the plastics and all they are really a big threat to, to our environment. Second MCQ, which of the following is an example of a biodegradable substance that plays a crucial role in soil enrichment and decomposition process? Option A, polyester fabric. B, uh, styrofoam packaging. C, PVC pipes. D, natural jute fibers. Let us now see the answer for this one. Obviously, natural jute fibers are degradable materials. They are derived from plants and they can be easily uh, disposed of. And, they, and over the time, they decompose through natural processes and they enrich the soil and this contribute to the um, nutrient cycle. And as I told, told you earlier, polyester, styrofoam, these things, styrofoam, these things are non-biodegradable. They persist in the environment for a really long time and they cause pollution and environmental damage as well. So how do improvements in lifestyle? Improvement as in economic improvement in the lifestyle, okay? and disposable products and non biodegradable uh, packaging uh, packaging affect the environment okay so a they lead to reduced pollution and environmental degradation b they enhance ecosystem resilience and biodiversity c they result in increased waste uh, accumulation and environmental degradation c they improve soil fertility and nutrient cycling let us see the answer for this question so it is C, they improve, uh, you know, with the improvement in life cycle, the, uh, lifestyle that is economic improvement and then disposable products and also the, uh, you know, use of non-biodegradable packaging. These contribute to the increased waste production. This leads to waste accumulation in the environment and this cause pollution and it harms in uh, ecosystems and degrade environmental quality. Next MCQ, which of the following statements accurately reflects the ecological implications of energy transfer in food chains and human activities on the environment? So which of the questions follow, uh, options are correct? Let's see. Option A, energy loss between trof trophic levels restricts the number of trophic levels in a food chain, while human activities have negligible impact on the environment. Option B, energy transfer between trophic levels in a food chain is efficient, allowing for numerous trophic levels and human activities have minimal impact on the environment. C, energy loss between trophic levels limits the uh, number of trophic levels in a food chain and human activities significantly imp impact the environment. C, option D, in energy transfer between Trophic levels in a food chain is nearly 100% efficient leading to higher number of trophic levels and human activities have no impact on the environment. So let us see the answer for this, this question guys. Option C is correct one. Energy loss uh, at each trophic level results in decreased you know, available energy for organisms at higher trophic level. And this limits the number of trophic levels in a food chain. Additionally, human activities such as deforestation, pollution and habitat destruction have profound impacts on the environment. This leads to the biodiversity loss, habitat deg degradation and climate change. Moving ahead. Fifth MCQ, which of the following practices contributes to environmental sustainability? Option A, using cloth bags for shopping instead of plastic bags. B, turning off light. Uh, and fan when not in use and C opting for walking or cycling instead of using motorized transportation and D all of the above 
so answer d all the practices mentioned in options a b c they promote environmental sustainability by reducing waste generation conserving energy and also minimizing carbon emissions associated with transportation so with this we have completed today's mcq thank you so much guys for uh, staying tuned and let's let's meet in the another uh, session guys